Greetings Multiverse, we're just days away from the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League and there's been a big leak, if you can call it that. A dozen storyboards detailing the events and plot of the planned Justice League 2 and 3 have appeared online, taken from a big public event in Dallas, Texas in honour of the Snyder Cut's release. We've read them all and are going to be doing several videos about them and while it's fantastic to know where Justice League was supposed to go, it's sad too knowing we probably won't get to see the conclusion to the Avengers Endgame of the DC Extended Universe. However, these storyboards also answer a fair few questions. Justice League 2 and 3 were always part of the plan for these movies, so all the movies made up to and including the likes of Aquaman and Shazam were done so with Zack Snyder's overall plan in mind. One particular question we now know the answer to is, what happened to Dr. Isabel Maru, Dr. Poison, after the end of Wonder Woman? In the movie, Dr. Poison appears in the fight between Diana and Ares, but after that she just runs away and disappears. Well, now we know exactly what happened to her. According to the storyboards, following the end of World War I, Dr. Maru fled to the jungles of Brazil. While there, she continued her evil experiments on human lab rats while gathering information on Wonder Woman and Themyscira. She used her chemical expertise to give herself a naturally long life, and she is actually alive after Justice League, a hundred years after the end of World War I. If Justice League 2 would have happened, Lex Luthor would have met Dr. Poison down in Brazil and recruited her to the Legion of Doom, or Injustice League if you prefer. They would have used her chemical weapons to break both Ocean Master and Black Manta out of prison, and from there she helped set up, unintentionally, the nightmare future seen in the movies, which Flash eventually has to go back in time and erase. She infiltrates Themyscira and wipes out the Amazons, including Diana, which is why we've not seen Wonder Woman in any pictures of the nightmare future. Eventually in Justice League 3, the bad future will be undone, Darkseid will be stopped, and it's Superman and Lois Lane who stop Dr. Maru from destroying Themyscira and killing Wonder Woman. While it's likely we won't get to see either Justice League 2 or 3, it's interesting to note that Wonder Woman 3 will be set after Justice League, so it's entirely possible that Patty Jenkins will pick up this story thread and bring Dr. Poison back, perhaps to fight alongside Cheetah. It would certainly be a neat way of tying the Wonder Woman trilogy together. So there you have it. Dr. Poison was always meant to disappear at the end of Wonder Woman, only to reappear a hundred years later, after the events of Justice League, to join Lex Luthor's Legion of Doom. It's really fascinating to think about, and it may even happen in Wonder Woman 3. But what do you guys think about these revelations? Leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to check it out, and please subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on Justice League and Wonder Woman 3. And we'll have more videos about the Justice League 2 and 3 storyboards very soon. Beyond that, please like and share the video, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching folks, and for now, Multiverse out.